According to the classical text, Yellow Emperor's Classic, we are told to sleep late and get a birdie in spring and summer, and vice versa in autumn and winter. This is one of the regimen methods to be in harmony with the laws of nature. A disease is likely to occur during the seasonal changes when the body's immune system is weak. We will share the wisdom to stay healthy during the seasonal changes. The spring is a time of revival, a season when soft breezes and warm sunshine tickle our bodies. The body has gotten used to being huddled up the whole winter, and so it has problems adjusting to the atmosphere of revival in the spring. The needs of the body in the winter are different from the needs of spring, and the body can't make the switch easily. It is important to condition the body according to the changes in the season. Furthermore, if the functions of the heart and liver are not in good condition, the whole body feels lethargic and the skin gets dark and wizened. This condition is called the lassitude of spring. When one experiences the lassitude of spring, Symptoms such as fatigue, lethargy, as well as a decline in the appetite becomes apparent. In such cases, it is effective to use moxibustion therapy on the acupuncture point or hyal called jungwan or choksamri. First, jungwan is the hyal located exactly halfway from the navel and the pit of the stomach. This hyal helps to improve digestion. The reasons for moxibustion therapy is due to its role in warming the blood vessels and getting rid of the cold influence and pain in our body. Next, another acupuncture point called choksamri is located four fingers down from the kneecap. Choksamri is another favored point to improve digestion and chronic diseases. Using moxibustion therapy on Jungwan and Choksamri acupuncture points can improve vigor and digestion as well as prevent and cure spring fatigue. Bojung Ikitang is made up of Hwangi. Insam, Pekchul, Gamcho, Tangui, Jinpi, Shiho, and Sungma. Hwangi, Insam, and Pekchul protects the body's ki, relieves thirst, builds resistance to disease, and protects stomach and spleen. Shiho and Sungma perk up lethargic ki wound or influence. Thus, these herbs are used when the stomach and ki need strengthening. In the summer, prolonged exposure to sunshine or working too long under the sun can lead to heat stroke. The symptoms of heat stroke include high fever, dry lips, burning sensation in the chest, and a dazed state of mind. In severe cases, the patient loses consciousness. When this happens, quickly move the person to the shade loosen any tight clothing to lower temperature and make him feel comfortable. With the advancement in technology, more and more people are suffering from what's so called as an air conditioning disease. Let's take a look at how oriental medicine deals with this new problem. 
냉방병이 생기게 되면 에어 컨디셔닝 아이레스 컴포니 심하게 되면 사지 관절까지 그리고 Also, the hapgok hyeol lies at the jointing point of the thumb and the index finger. The weguan hyeol is located 3 cm away from the midpoint of the wrist. The weguan hyeol cures air conditioning itis by subsiding fever and eliminating the influence of cold and palsy. During the fall, all the elements become dry and so does nature's keyword or influence. Skin disease, allergies, and respiratory problems are more easily caused. Dryness of the skin during autumn can be treated with pejongkyok. The pejongkyok is located at the taeyeon. The taeyeon is at the base of the thumb. And by using acupuncture in the direction of the blood vessels, the tebekyol would be at the lower end of the first toe. This is a way to protect the vigor of blood vessels and is called opa. And sobuhyeol and ojehyeol will be placed at the sabo to weaken the vigor of blood vessels. Sobuhyeol will be the center of the fourth and fifth chungsugol, and the ojehyeol would be the center of the first chungsugol. The chungsugol is about three centimeters from the wrist, located toward the thumb. When pejongkyok is used, it generates blood, results in good blood circulation and improves dryness of the skin. For dry skin, rubbing down the skin with a dry towel also helps. Use a soft towel and start rubbing through the neutral nerves and move towards the heart. In the winter, everything seems to huddle up in the body. It helps to make and drink warm tea during the winter. Chinese quince, which is full of organic acid, contains saponin and tartan, and it's good for relieving phlegm and coughing. We need to pay more attention to our body during the seasonal changes. When our body fails to adjust to the changes in the environment, this is likely time that our body will go out of sync. In oriental medicine, the key to a healthy life is to be in accordance with nature. Thank you, and we hope to see you again next time.